Welcome back to more Metroid Prime Remastered, everybody. So in the last episode, we were here in this uh, space pirate research station, and these are some new enemies. These are ice beetles, which I'm just going to leave alone because they're not a threat at all. Who cares? These, however, are a threat, so you want to deal with these very quickly. Oh, okay, we got some flying pirates as well here. Okay. Well, let's definitely deal with them. Yeah, I recommend doing a lot of sidestepping against these guys because they, sh they like, shoot a lot of missiles at you. And if you just keep... Wait, are there more? No, oh, I think that's it. Okay. Well, let's see here. So I think there's three things you gotta scan here to get rid of the, um... There's like a barrier, you know, in, in here. So we just gotta go down the list. Let's go here. Anything in this room? I don't think so, no. Alright, let's go to the next one. I saw, I saw a turret over there. I think the second one's gonna be in here. Yeah, that's number two. And the number three is gonna be a little bit... Well, actually, it'll be down at the floor, yeah. That would make the most sense, obviously. Okay, I killed that thing, and there's one more on the left, I think, that I saw. Yeah, right over there. There we go. Alright, where's three? Just that one, right? Nothing else? Okay. Once you get rid of all three, then you'll have access to the item. So this one's a pretty cool one. It's the, um... It's the thermal visor. It's the first thermal... Or, sorry, the first visor upgrade of the game. Nice. You sound to activate. Okay. New extras unlocked. Alright, so now they're going to basically force you to use the thermal visor because they're going to, well, they're going to shut down the power there and there's also going to be, like, no light. But the thermal visor, it's simple. You just simply press down and it looks very weird, as you can see. But anything that has heat, basically any living creature, will actually be a bright, like, yellow-orange color, which is, makes it really easy to see. Energy units are also brightened up, which is nice, of course. Alright, let's go up here. Um, I think these actually might... Well, let's see. Oh yeah, they are going to break. Okay. So these Metroids, the easiest way that I recommend killing them is with the Super Missile. That's what the Super Missile does. As you just saw, it's a very powerful, like... It's probably like three times as strong as a regular charge beam. That's my guess. Okay. Here's another one. I will say though, um, it's a little hard to use both because if you're if you're holding it with the Z, ZR, and then you have to shoot it with um, R, you have to use like two fingers for that almost. There we go. Okay, so now what you want to do here is see these things. You're going to see it's all over the place, but only the thermal visor can see them, and they're the energy for the door. And here, this is why you need a thermal visor. Do you see this? You would not be able to actually see what the hell is going on. I mean, technically you can. You don't need to use a thermal visor to get out of here, but... Okay, this is, um... This I think I also use... A super missile. Here's why. It deals with them very efficiently. These are drones. One super missile will do it. I know I'm using a lot. Super missiles in this game require five regular missiles. I'm already down to, as you can see, 36 missiles. So not a lot. Okay, we got some more space pirates now. We basically have to get out of here. We got what we needed. We got the thermal visor and the super missile, which were the two big things. Uh, the thermal visor does not see turrets, though. You do have to be careful about that. I kind of just guess where it would be based on where I was getting shot at, but it does not see them, as you saw right there as a perfect example. Another one coming up here? Okay. Oops, totally missed. I thought I had you locked on. Yes, I used the missile there, but... I don't think it really makes it any faster. Okay, now there's another thing shooting at us there. And we 
can go through. Okay, so now we're going through this one. I think we can just run through um, this room up here. I don't think it'll be locked again. There's flying pirates and stuff, but yeah, it's only locked the first time, so we can just run through it. We're not going to worry about that stuff. But what's cool is you can always see doors, like through walls, like, you know, a little early. And you can see the next doors over there. Okay, and there's this is the one with the save room, so we don't need to worry about this. All we need to do is go down here. And then we got more of these. Okay, let me try the wave beam. Let me see how much damage this actually does or how many. Yes, it looks like you would need. You would need several charges. Now the drones typically end up locking the rooms. See like you just saw right there, they've been unlocked now. So you do actually have to defeat the drones. Those things are up at the top. That's funny, they're just up there. Okay, this- oh my god, it came out of nowhere. Um, is it- actually, yes, this is where I- oh wait, I'm gonna kill these things first. They're all coming at me. I think that's it for now. We're gonna shoot this thing with the super missile, because there is a missile right here. Missile expansion. Now we're going to go back into the wave beam now. I mean, I think I dealt with all of them. Let's get out of here. We just have to get out of this whole research station place and make our way into the, uh, the actual Fendrana Drift place. Which is right here, but I think I can just run through here too. Because that door should not be locked over there. I'll probably take some damage on the way, but that's perfectly fine. Yeah, see? By this point, we can get out of this. We don't need the thermal visor anymore. Okay, I'm gonna go take the save. I mean, I don't think I've saved in a while. There we go. And now we're about to get taken into a boss, which, in my opinion, is the... F the a really fun boss to deal with, like it's, it's insanely fun to fight this thing. I always enjoy the battle so much every time I play this game. Okay, here. This thing is actually Cordite. You'll be able to know if you scan that. And then um, you would need to use the Wave Beam. There's a little node behind. As you can see, I'm just skipping these things because I know all the stuff that's behind there. But you don't, then you would basically use the Thermal Visor to see what's going on. Okay, we're gonna go through this really long tunnel. Oh. Yeah, switching can be a little awkward. It takes a little a little more time. Get a little head start on scanning, you know, before the actual boss before the boss battle itself. So this one right here, this boss is known as Thardis. Thardis is like I was saying before, it's a very fun battle. Um, you basically, okay well let's start by scanning you right? Yeah this is Thardis, okay. Basically there's, um, you want to use a thermal visor to see which um, which rock you want to hit next. Uh, you can use supers, but I actually am only at freaking 32. Wow, I just realized that. Um, so I'm going to have to be a little careful and not use supers too much early on. I'll use them a little bit later. There we go. Once you break one, well, then the next one becomes available. 
But typically what he does every time you break one of his rocks is that he'll roll into uh, that, like a ball form. What you want to do is use the boost ball to get out of the way. Boost for a little bit and then eventually he will go back to regular version. I'm trying to get a good view here. Okay, and he also launches rocks at you if you want to get... Oh god. There we go. If you want to get some pickups, then I recommend you do that. You shoot the, the rocks, but his main attack is the ice wave move, which you can just like jump over. Or to even dash through it as well. Either one works. But yeah, so you get good pickups. There's some more missiles, which I'm going to need for probably later in the battle. Alright. I think he's going to roll again. Yes, he is. So it's time to boost ball again. I usually give it about, what, 7 seconds or so. I'm boosting. Eventually, he stops. Get your thermal again. Use a super. Use another super. He's gonna do it again. I don't know if he actually is yet. No, he's gonna make it into it. He's gonna make it like very foggy like. I do remember this. Damn it. That would have actually been cool if I did that. Okay, he actually hit me that time. Look how wow, look how misty it is. Alright, where you at? Oh damn. Wait, oh no, did I get it? It still says overloaded. Does that mean I got it? No way, right? It shouldn't be overloaded, because it only overloads when you hit the first. No, it's still overloaded. That's crazy. Oh god, I can't even see because it's I'm too far from him. Okay, wait, he keeps doing the same thing. I don't know what's going on here. Like, he, he, he seriously is just doing the same thing. What the hell? I did get it then. That is crazy. Okay, he just keeps rolling now. Here we go. There's that, and then... Nope, didn't get it. Just shoot it with missiles, I guess. Yeah, it makes it much harder to see, as you can see. It's... Alright, there we go. Now... What, another one? But he's gonna roll again, so you do want to boost out of the way. Yeah, that's kind of the routine here now. We're just kind of, I mean, we're getting through it pretty aggressively, you know, through here, so. That one can actually be a little difficult to get. Well, I did get it that time. Mainly because it's, it's like behind. Oh my god, I was right at the wall. What the hell was that? But yeah, it's the, I think the hardest part of the stage is literally the, um, oh, am I, I'm actually out of missiles. That's crazy. I fired so many missiles. Did I actually run out? That is ridiculous. But well, I just gotta use the charge beam. I don't even know if I'm shooting at you. No, I am. Got it, okay. What's the next one? He's almost dead. Okay, now I think he's gonna he's gonna get rid of the foggy thing. I can't believe I don't have any missiles left. I, like, literally ran out. But, because I don't have any missiles, I'm gonna have to rely purely on the charge beam to do some good damage. Which will probably take a little while, actually, now that I think about it. Normally about this one, I just fire a bunch of supers right at its body, but... Nah, I mean, we're fine. We should be fine. By this point, it's, it starts to launch a lot, which I should probably be the, doing the smart thing and actually um, shoot the, the damn rocks because they would give me missile ammunition, which is kind of what you want to do.
Oh my god. There we go. Got it. That's the battle. That is pretty much the battle. Um, I did it fairly fast. I mean, I could have done it much faster if I actually um, was full in missiles before the battle. Because the fastest way to do it is just spam supers. Spam super missiles the entire time. And you can even sometimes get it like before he rolls, like in some parts of the battle. It's it's kind of cool how that works. But anyway, here's a nice upgrade. This is actually the spider ball. It's a, it's a pretty cool one. It, it works it works really well, honestly. I like it a lot. Alright. Um, actually, what I should do though, is now that I have the spider ball, you can actually scan the track. And it treats it as research this time. Okay, so what you want to do is you hold the ZL. Then you can go all the way through. But then we want to go into... Uh, not there, that's going to take us back. But yeah, I definitely went into the wrong one. I could have I gone on this one and just put a bomb. You can combine things like bombs and boost ball with the spider ball to do some really cool things. Uh, they expand more on this in Metroid Prime 2. But there's still some pretty cool stuff. There's one thing in particular in this game that's like, oh damn, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, I think I want to go this way. Well, this actually takes me... Oh, I don't know if I want to go this way. I definitely can't go up there because that's an ice beam required door, but I think what I would want to do... Um... Because, yeah, I would want to go... Okay, Ice Ruins. East is that way, and I'm going to go to the other side as well. Okay, you know what? I don't think I want to go that way. As cool as it seems to go that way, because I can get another energy tank uh, pretty much right away if I were to go that way. I don't think I want to do it. Oh yeah, now a She-God spawns here, by the way, every time. Which, luckily, you don't have to deal with. You can just skip it. But yeah, I'm going back this way. I just think it makes more sense. Um, I mean, I guess they both technically lead to what you specifically need to do. Um, oh god. I think they- wait, did they lock the doors? I mean, I'm pretty sure they always lock the doors, so... They had to lock them. This is why the waving also works well, though, because it does also stun them. Yeah, see, doors were locked. That's what I figured. Okay. Okay, so in here, I need to go... Be the, the, the one at the bottom. See the door down there? That's what I'm going for. I'm, I'm doing some backtracking here. Alright, this is Ice Ruins West, but I need to I need to go to um the east one. Which would be over there. Okay. So we can just kinda of skip over this one. Let's I'm trying to get missiles if I can. Yeah, I got I think I got some missiles there. Just because I'm really low on them. I'm only at 22 out of 70. Okay, this one should lead to where I want to go. Because there is, um... Oh man, hopefully I can remember where this is, but uh... Oh my god, there's an adult Shigoth here now, that's ridiculous. Well now that I, you know, beat the, the Shigoth mini-boss, now they're just appearing everywhere. I think it's in here. It is in here, okay, I figured. You can use the spider ball to get the expansion. There we go. That's all I wanted. Now we can go... We would have to go back into Fendrana Shorelines, which I think both pathways would end up... Yeah, it would take us there, so we're fine. There's also another expansion I can get here. And I think it requires that I go that way. Go like, go like this, and then go up this way. 
Okay, this thing right here, this thing is actually Cordite. And I think I can do scan it, or do you... Yeah, you scan it. A little mechanism right here, and this will allow us to go into, I believe it's, uh, yep, another spider ball track. And there we go, another missile expansion. Okay, now I can go into... Why do I keep pressing that button? Jesus. Nine more caverns west. Okay, perfect. This is where I would need to go. Now, in Namor Caverns, we're really only going to use it as a pathway to where we want to go, which would be Talon Overworld. And then from Talon Overworld, all we're doing is going to Chozo Ruins right away. So it's just a bunch of... yeah, you know, like... <laughs> pathways. Okay. So we're making our way. See if I remember this though. What's the easiest way to go through what oh shoot. What the heck what is Are you why why isn't it working? Like let me go up there, thank you. I keep getting stuck on something there. Okay, we're going to I think the easiest way to do this would be to go to Talon Overworld West. I would want to go that way then. Okay. Wait, is that the high one or the low? Oh, that's the low door. Okay. It makes it a lot easier. There's some stuff here. Let's, let's see if I can get some missiles or something. I'm up to 33 now. I guess we're kind of slowly getting there. What's nice about the space jump is now you can go through here. Even if you fall, that's fine. Here, give me some more missiles. And then here, again, you can just kind of go through, I think. Yeah, see? It honestly makes it really easy to be navigating everywhere. The more abilities you have, the easier it is to, like, go around. Here, I should probably still do this, because it's a very long pathway in there, and I, yeah. And then here is the one to Talon Overworld West. So from Talon Overworld, all we're going to do is go into Chozo Ruins West. Okay. The Chozo Ruins one is um it's the it's the regular one, the, the like the first one that we took in the beginning of the game. So we just have to go through here. I know, it's a lot of backtracking, but I mean, I don't think it would have been better if I went the other way. I mean, I ended up getting missile expansions here, but I could have gotten the energy tank if I went the other way. And like, I know technically I can still go that way now, but it's a, it's a huge waste of time to, to end up going to multiple places with backtracking when you really don't have to, you know? Alright, so here's this, um, all we're doing here is going this way, we can ignore these beetles. And then this should be Chozo Ruins West, yes, okay, perfect. Alright, now we're finally where we want to be at, and here we're going to get a lot of items. Chozo Ruins is a place that still has plenty of things to do. And I was only here in the beginning of the game, in episode 1, and I couldn't really do all that much then, but now I can. So, first things first, we're going to go to the main plaza. There are two missile expansions we would like to get here. Oh great, now we get to play the beetle. Oh, okay, this thing here is actually Cordite. You can blow that up with a super missile, but the easiest way to get that is to actually go... But you would want to go back and around. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Here we go like this. Yeah, there's this section here, and then from here, you can jump up to it pretty easily. 
Okay. Then there's this right here, which technically you can do this with just a space jump, but I always found it to be kind of problematic. I've done it before. It's it's like a, it's not really sequence breaking because you have to get the boost ball before the space jump boots, I believe. But you can do it by just jumping up there with the space jump. Anyway, so that's that. Um, there's a missile expansion up there. I don't think we're gonna get that one soon though. Then there's this way. This is the ruined shrine, which we've we've been here like one time ever. Okay, there are two things we want to get here. Oh shoot, man. Okay, this one I should probably kill. Oh, there, they're they're really easy. Okay, this thing you could have gotten the first time you were here, um, or, or not not the first time you're here, but the first time you were in. Chozo Ruins, after you get the Morph Ball Bomb, you could come back here and get this if you wanted to, but I didn't do it, mainly because I knew I was going to have to come back here anyway. Um, okay, we're going to go... I think I want to go this. Actually, I don't know which way is the correct one. That is... that's not the right one now. There's a Missile Expansion on the other side. So I want to make sure I grab that one first. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the second one of those. So we already picked up four missile expansions like really fast. Back to back. Okay, now we'll go up this way and this time we'll take this pathway. This here would require the spider ball and the uh, wave beam to get through. So you need a few items. Oops. But this room is called, I believe, the Tower of Light. Alright, so... Yeah, because there's... I can't do anything else here except just to get one important thing. And that's to make it up to the top. Okay. So here... I thought there were going to be some enemies around here. Okay, no, the Oculus ones. Okay. All you want to do here is shoot missiles... ...in each corner. They're all cracked, as you can see, so... ...it would require 12 missiles to do this. And once you do that, then it will um, go down a stage. You have to do this because um, your height is not going to reach that much. And there's new cracks on the wall, okay. You also want to get out of the middle because now there's going to be these things. These are new enemies. These are um, plated puffers. So your regular beam weaponry is not going to work on that. Alright, now we have to be careful here. You actually have to shoot... Yes, if you shoot into the enemy directly, then it's going to bounce off the enemy, since those enemies are actually immune to the missile. Right? Shoot. Wasting too many missiles, seriously. Okay, I'll go down again. This time there's no cutscene, though. But make sure to jump out of there immediately. Oh, what the hell? That actually touched me? No way, man. Okay, that's two. Some of these are moving in some pretty erratic patterns. Damn it, that was right on it. And that's it. Okay, now that one comes down here. I can keep going. I think that's actually it. All of this work for the Wave Buster. The Wave Buster's, um, it's another, it's a beam combo, but this time it's for the Wave Beam. Like, just like how the Super Missile is for the Power Beam, the Wave Buster is for the Wave Beam. Um, it's a constant one, though. It, it keeps consuming an average about five missiles per second. Once you, like, because you can hold it, it's, it's, it's not like a one-shooting kind of thing like the super missile. 
Um, it's pretty cool, but uh, be careful about that because it does use up a lot of missiles if you keep, you know, just spamming it, I guess, everywhere. But anyway, so that's that. Now we can actually get out of here. And I think what we have to do now is go to... I'm trying to think of what would be the easiest way to do this. Okay, let's let's bring this up. Because I want to go there, but I think I should come through the Sun Tower pathway. Which would mean... Yeah, I would want to go to the left then. Okay, got it. We're, we're going to take... I think it's this door. Yes, yeah, so it should be that one. Then we're kind of just going to run through here. If there's scarabs, then oh well. I don't really care. Okay, I should probably um save here just to get a nice heal as well. And got two energy things depleted, so I think it would be a good idea to do that. Yeah, you can actually skip- oh my god, you can skip the cutscene. Once you've been to that save point once, you can skip the cutscene every time. Oh, now there's Shriek Bats in here. Okay, they've changed them from the... <laughs> it, was, it was the War Wasp, actually, before. Look at that, I'm at 21 missiles. I just cannot... Get my missile count back up. Okay, what I should do here is shoot the box on the side. Yeah, there's some missiles. Okay, there's a few. Guess I'll take that. Because I have so many missiles, like in total, it's like a hundred now that I've reached, but I just don't even have any. I, I haven't got any like missile ammunition. I just haven't been going out of my way to to replenish. I guess that's the problem. But I think soon we're going to get to like a missile recharge station, which yes, those do exist, but they're pretty rare in the game. Okay, um, here I should probably go ahead and shoot down all these things because they're going to be so annoying if we do not do that. And then just kill all of them because, yeah. Okay, perfect. What we want to do here, I'm actually about, about to use... Up. I just used up 14 missiles from all this here. Okay, we're gonna scan these two. And I believe there are, oh yeah, there's two more. Because we want to get rid of that door up there. You see that? That thing's blocking. But if you scan all four, it'll actually make that thing open up so you can go through with the spider ball. Alright, now here we gotta be careful. We have to time this... Pretty much just right. Jesus, that was close. Yeah, I took a hit there, but it's fine. Ooh, what was that, huh? <laughs> okay, we got some good stuff there. We're only at 23 missiles now. Alright, so here we're going to get introduced to a mini boss. But it's three of these basically, and they are called the Chozo Ghost. These things, um, only the power beam works on them. So, I mean, you can use super missiles as well if you want to, but these things become much easier to fight once you have uh, an item known as the X-Ray Visor. For very obvious reasons, it's going to be much easier to fight those things, and you'll see. It just takes several shots to deal with these things. Like, it really does. Because they keep hiding, you know, they, they go around everywhere, they end up hiding. Oh shoot, and then when they attack you, they stun you, 
and Samus is forced to like give up her arm cannon for like three seconds, which is a lot. I'm trying to lock onto the other one. Didn't let me do that. Yes, it keeps locking onto the other one. I haven't killed a single one, but I think it's because I keep um, shooting at all the different ones and not the same one. It's, it's impossible to track which is which. That's the problem. But like I said, this becomes much easier once you have the x-ray visor because you can actually keep the lock on to one. But they have a lot of health. Even one super missile will not kill them. Okay, that's one down. Oh, they're dying when they actually fade like that. That one is still alive, though. Okay. Where are you at? Wait, no, I think I did kill another one. There were three of them. Yeah, I did kill one of them. Okay. So, I kill a Chozo Ghost. By this point, you're going to be seeing Chozo Ghosts, like, everywhere in... Um... In the Chozo Ruins. It'll be important to try to avoid them as much as possible because they take forever to kill, especially before the X-ray visor. All right, there we go. So now what I want to do, uh, let's see, I need to make my way over to the, yeah, I would want to turn around actually, this way. There's gonna be more pickups to get on the way before you get a big upgrade. What the hell? What? I guess I never... I never come this way? Well, no, no, I would have to have come this way. No, I'm trying to think of... No, no, I did come here, okay. Yeah, because that was the other... That had to be. That was, that's through the Arboretum section, so obviously it makes sense. Anyway, I need to go specifically to the right side, which would be this way. Oh, perfect, getting some nice missiles right there. Okay, so in this room, I think all I really need to do here is I fall in here. You stay here, launches you up, hold the spider ball button. And there we go. Missile expansion acquired. Okay. Now we have to go back up through the top. Whoa. Just inverted on me. Alright, now we're gonna go... I think it would have to be this way. Because I want to make it to... The gathering hall is that way. As you can see, there's still rooms around here. That are still blue. We can't do anything with that yet. We need another ability to be able to actually do anything in those areas. So I'm leaving that for later specifically. In case you're wondering. Alright, so what I want to do is, I need to go to the dynamo, which would actually be this way. Because now there actually is um, an expansion I can get here in this room. And this is why I probably should have left this for later anyway, because, oh, nice. Wait, so you know what I've been realizing? I should have actually known this earlier. Missiles in this game, missile, like, ammunition gives you three. I'm pretty sure in the original Metroid Prime it gives you five. I could be very wrong about that, and you can let me know in the comments, but I feel like that's true. So, like, you get less missiles per missile ammunition in this game than the original version. Anyway, I'm going to take this to go all the way up for another missile expansion. So the dynamo's done, we've gotten that there. We're at 110 missiles now. And now we have to go back into the gathering hall. Incoming scan data. Regional climate analysis complete. I actually do not. Abnormally low temperature at ruined site. I guess I should do that, right? Sure. 
Ah, yes, the antechamber. Okay. That is the next upgrade we're going to be getting, in case you're wondering. We're making our way over there, but I just wanted to get all these expansions first. Yes, give me those missiles, please. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, I can kill all those things, sure. Give me all that. So here, with the space gem boots, you can just go like this. You don't have to take that little tunnel anymore. Okay, we finally got a bunch of missiles. Okay, here, which one is it? Stand on this and go up here? Wait, is this, is this a... Yeah. There we go. That's another missile expansion. And then from here, I think I just need to go right here because this we want to go into the cross uh, no that's actually well, that's what furnace energy core the one that I want to that I would prefer to go to because no I would I would want to keep going that way for sure wait actually no Isn't there another? No, oh yeah, no, that's right, that's right. I'm, I'm getting so confused. My bad on that. I'm so sorry. It's because I didn't see a door on the map, but no, it's not. You don't go through a door. You go through a freaking morph ball pipe. That's why. Because I only saw a white door, and I'm like, we don't have the ice beam yet, so. We can't do that. Oh, shoot. Okay, my missiles are finally up there. Things do all these shriek bats. Okay, but if you remember, there was a morph ball slot and a spider ball track in here, and now we can take the spider ball one to advance into the next room. Yeah, you gotta be fast with that right there. Okay, here we got some uh, new enemies. These are uh, plated parasites. Bombs will kill them. But, oh my god. Kill them all. Okay. Here's a Chosel Lore. We're gonna scan that, of course. I think that's about it, because we can't go through the door. All we can really do here is take, um, it's supposed to be like a little, wait, is, is it here? No, 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 there's, um, oh, well, it's right over here, this one. I think there was a little you know, tunnel thing somewhere here. So yes. Wait, no, no, that's where I came from. Hold on a sec. I'm getting very confused about this. I don't remember this part very well, but... Oh, see, dude, it's under the freaking Chosen Lord. What, what am I doing? It's literally right over here. Get up there, please. Oh great, I missed it. Well fine, just bomb jump, you know? Alright. What's up here? Hmm. So this is the this is the crossway. Okay, there actually is an expansion here that we want to get. But I think I need to go I need to go that way first. Okay. Here there is actually three chosen lores. And here is, um, something scannable. We're gonna scan this. And then from here, it's, it's pretty simple. You're gonna have to just use your half-pipe boosting abilities. Oh, shoot. There we go. And then just go up there, bomb that. Now we go to the second one. We got it. This thing comes down, but it is time, but it's exceptionally easy to do this. All you have to do is fit right in there. Now we can roll on through, and here's the expansion. Easy enough. Alright, that's it for this room. So now we have to we do have to go back that way though, so we have to boost again. 
and now we can cross through and we are about to get over there where's the door? this way oh we got some scarabs in here alright everyone welcome to the hall of the elders the hall of the elders is a, it's a very iconic room in this game you'll see why there's a lot of lore here, like I'm not talking about literally Chose lore, but a lot of lore behind Metroid and like all this. I think there's only one in here. We do have to kill this thing though. We actually do have to kill it in this room because it will activate the um kill it. Come on. It'll activate the thing in the in here, which we can get on with the morph ball. There we go. Okay. So all we're doing here is, um, well, let's try this. Where will this take us? I recommend holding the ZL because I don't want to do the spider ball thing. Yeah, it is that one. Okay. Figured as much. Let's lay a bomb. And this is going to open three different colored nodes in there. Okay. Um, I think there's actually another Chosen Lord back here. Yeah, there is. Alright. You can also go in here, by the way. And this here... ...is a missile station. Uh, which is what I was saying that we're about to get to one very soon. There are very few missile stations in this game. Like, very few. Uh, but they do replenish your missiles, as the name says, you know? Where's the, where's the pathway? Oh, it's over here. Alright, anyway, we want to get up here to the top. We want to use Wave Beam to get rid of that one. So by doing this, it will actually change the pathway in there, as you can see. And it's going to take us somewhere else. So now what we have to do is get back into that Chozo thing. A new path has been opened. I didn't even try scanning this. It's not research, right? No, it's not. Okay. Kind of figured it wasn't, but just making sure. Okay, this one's going to take us down. And it took us around in some other pathway. Nice. And now they're back again. So if you have the ice beam or the plasma beam, you can then come back here and you know do that stuff shoot them or whatever okay this here you can scan this to make this wall disappear so now by this point you can just come through easily without having to use the chozo there that's pretty cool but um what the hell wait i can't even see it was so dark my, i think my tv is so dark maybe that's what's happening okay drain shut off this whole thing yeah whatever okay then we gotta go here and we gotta lay a bomb somewhere there we go, it's gonna drain all the water and the fishies apparently. Oh god. Yeah, kill these stone toads, seriously. Alright, so what you wanna do here um, is just get enough uh, boost ball. Oh, there's actually no platform there. What the hell? <laughs> okay, now that's actually hitting me. What is even going on in here? Dude, there's a stupid pole in the way. Okay, that is not where it's supposed to be boosting. I am so sorry. That is definitely not how you do that. That works. Okay. Um, I think I want to go... Let's go this way first. This is the ice beam. Alright, so with the Ice Beam, uh, obviously we can switch, you know, we're going to have to do X and then this time down to go to the Ice Beam. Ice Beam is actually pretty cool. Um, it, actually, wait, what's this here? I actually have to see. That's a save room, but it also leads to, oh boy. I'm trying to see, okay, we got Ice Beam, it can freeze enemies, usually the charge shots end up doing that. I need to see what 
this transport is. Talon Overworld South, that is not where I want to go. Definitely not. We want to go to the east, which I think is through the pipe. But before we even do that, um, I think it's best if I go back. Because, remember that Hall of the Elders? We just got the Ice Beam. So we can literally just go back here. Although I'm pretty sure the stupid Chozo thing is going to be back, huh? No? Really? I don't believe that for a sec, but okay. Wait, so there are still... Okay, well, let's see. Can I actually do this? Oh, wait, no, I can't because the thing is not going to be... Oh, shoot. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's not going to be active. Shoot. Alright, well... I gotta, I gotta use my supers here to speed up this process a little bit. Oh, I hate when I get hit though, that thing stuns you so much. Is that? No, that's actually the other one still, huh? I got that one. And that one, okay. I got him off. But wait a minute, did this thing change back? Oh god. I actually have no idea, but let's let's try it. Okay, no, it, it did take us somewhere else. Okay, that's good. An energy tank. Very nice. Okay. So, is there anything in here? No. I'm just making sure, really. So, I mean, I guess that was worth it for an energy tank, you know? But now we have to get out of here. Uh, this pathway, by the way, you see that white door? That white door is actually just a shortcut between a few of the rooms. Um, it just goes back over there. I guess I can just enter it really quickly. Just to, Oops, I did not hold X there. Just to show it on the map. There we go. Not that we really need that, but... Yeah, it's there. It's a little shortcut. Alright, now we can actually officially move forward through the... You may have seen a pipe next to a, uh, a save room there. Make sure we kill that stupid thing. There we go. Yeah, we're going to take this one right here specifically. Because this actually leads to another, uh, transport, another, like, teleport, or elevator, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, see? This is Talent Overworld East. That is what we need. Okay, and all we're basically doing in here is getting one missile expansion and going over to Magmore Caverns East right away. But you may remember, okay, actually this room, yeah, we haven't been here before, but it will quickly connect into something that you've seen before. Okay, so here's the o overgrown cavern. Yeah, that's gonna be hitting me, but that's fine. Got a missile expansion there. This is the frigate crash site, yeah. It's a really big room, but what I need to be doing is going to Magmore Caverns East, which is specifically over there. So all I really need to do here is jump to the right, this way. And there's water in here, you're gonna have to go to the water, unfortunately. Just trying to make my way, you know? Man, I really can't wait for the gravity suit so we can actually navigate these areas efficiently. I just froze that guy, but I don't care about fighting these things right now. It is not important. This little pathway is the final door that leads into the landing site. Yeah, see? This one right here. 
Uh, so now we've unlocked every pathway into landing site. There's a lot of doors, obviously, around here, but what I'm going to do is go straight through here. And I need to go into Magmore Caverns with uh, that's Chosa Ruins. Magmore Caverns East. I would want to go that way then. Okay. And I'm also running out of time for this video, so I do need to. You can also freeze these now, by the way, and just uh, usually frozen enemies. You can blast them with a missile, and it works very well. So I would recommend to do that. Okay, we're trying to go down, but there's a bunch of stuff in the way. There we go. Alright, finally at Magmore Caverns. Now, here in Magmore Caverns, I guess I just gotta find a save point and end it because... I'm gonna be running out of time here shortly. Okay, all we're doing... Oh, I gotta make it to the workstation, which I think would be... It would actually be on the other side. I, th I think it would be this way. Um, you know, this, this here, you can take the spider ball track to go all the way across. And I want to say it takes me there specifically to where I'm trying to go to. Is this? Uh, I don't actually, I genuinely don't know. Um, I can blast these things. Well, okay, by the way, you can freeze these now with the ice beam, which is awesome. Okay, and we can shoot these with missiles. I think there's a few. There's one over there. Here, I'm gonna actually want to use the power beam. It's very fast and reliable. Okay. Whoa. Grab all this stuff. Okay, see, I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way with this because. I mean, I guess there's a good chance I am. I don't know. Oh, here, here's funny. This is funny. Put the line right on it and kill it. And that thing will never exist again. That magmore. Because those stalactites that... Ooh, this is the geothermal core thing. This is a new enemy. This is a puddle spore. You basically just shoot them and they flip over. And they can be used as platforms. Kind of cool, actually. But this room is humongous, even though we can't do much uh, yet in there. We need uh, something else first, but we're we're getting there. No, I think I am going the right way. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, this is the workstation. Okay. So... I know I see a bunch of flying pirates in here, so... What I need to do... Oh my god. Don't you... You knock me down. Actually, I think this is one with the other pathway. This one does not lead. No, that leads to the transport. Is that a save room over there? Oh my god, I think it actually is. I'm such an idiot. Well, let's see. No, that's not a save room. Okay, that's actually blocked off by a freaking power bomb thing. Okay, got it. Alright, so I'm running out of time here, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go straight through here. I missed an energy tank in there, but I'm going to get it in the beginning of the next video. Because I want to show this off. There's a save over here. Alright, so before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.